Locked up for 15 years, when someone is wrongly accused, it's what happened to four women known as the San Antonio Four. The four openly gay women who were charged for sexually assaulting the seven and nine year old nieces of Elizabeth Ramirez in San Antonio back in 1994. Part of their conviction was based upon forensic evidence that was later deemed scientifically inaccurate. How does this happen? Can we always trust forensic evidence? Sarah Costa spoke with the University of Texas law professor who has studied several cases where forensic science has failed defendants. She explains how it's possible. How strongly can forensic evidence hold up in court? Sometimes strong enough to convict people that ultimately lands them behind bars for years. It's one of the reasons why the San Antonio Four spent nearly 15 years in prison. The women were wrongfully convicted of sexually assaulting two girls in 1994. In 2016, the women were exonerated of their crimes. Jennifer Lauren is professor at the University of Texas School of Law. She has studied several cases where forensic science has failed. She says this happens and will continue to happen because science is always changing. There are um, many instances where scientific um, consensus uh, has shifted over time, and sometimes that can implicate earlier conclusions in, in, in criminal cases. And that was essentially the claim that was that was made in, in the, the, the San Antonio 4 case. Lauren says that medical expert in the case originally claimed the scars on the victims were enough forensic evidence to support that they had been sexually assaulted. Many years later, she says that expert retracted her original testimony after defense attorneys obtained updated forensic science that deemed the original claims were baseless in terms of medical science. It's for reasons like this that the Texas Forensic Science Commission was formed in 2005. The commission's job is to investigate the integrity and reliability of forensic science in Texas. Lauren says the role of the commission is crucial to continue to examine the ever-changing nature of forensic science. Science is at its heart um, about a continuing process of questioning and testing and re-questioning and retesting. Um, it is an, an open-ended and continually evolving process. Lauren says the commission continues to update how forensic science could be upheld in court. She says one example is through a recommendation the group made in a 2017 report. The commission recommended that evidence based on bite mark comparison not be used in criminal cases. She says the report found that there was not a strong enough foundation behind the use of bite mark comparison. Myra.